ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys are ready i got your watch list coming into may 9th 2019 and if you thought today was crazy you have yet to see anything the trade trade deadline is coming up on friday however we should expect something tomorrow i'm being tentative on it but before we get into it, you guys, we're getting straight to this. Like the video. We're on stream 30 minutes for open. You got to find it. If not, that's, that's on you, man. But let's bask in the glory of this one yesterday. If you guys have been watching the watch list videos here, hopefully it's been paying dividends. Shout out to all the stream alerts. It has been too. We're going to go over some of those plays. I have options to look at. We have specific plays. And this is from yesterday. We got the great cuckening, and that is what happened, and we need to look at what happened today because specific things happen that put stuff on watch and stuff that we played. We had the UVXYs, and there are specific things I want to point out where they're not necessarily going to be plays, but stuff to watch tomorrow that could give you idea of how things are developing and a few even currencies and stuff like that. There's that, and then we had the earnings. We had Disney and Roku. Those were actually very awesome, so that's going to be fun to watch and play tomorrow. So we're going to get into that, the options everything else and then i guess let's, let's start with what you guys want to see this is what you guys wanted what is going to happen tomorrow so we've been right three times in a row i have to be wrong eventually i have a few keys to look at we're going to have a few earnings you guys need to fill in the blank you guys got to post your watch list below even if there's earnings anything that is what you guys need to do in the comment but tomorrow is going to be the kiss of death aka what i'm going to call the pump fake so what we saw already, and we're going to talk about really this whole week, we had the step back, we had the drop, we had the crossover cuck, stayed there. I think tomorrow we are going to get the pump fake and fade away. So I'm looking to see some level of positive news to get rebutted at a later point by negative news or some literally deal to go through or rumors of something like that and then later get canceled. But sadly... Later means they could kick the can a long time. So this could mean either they could kick it into to Friday or they could kick it into next week or even next month or when we see another seasonally slow point in August and Trump wants to turn up the pressure. It, it could get interesting. You, we will really have to see. Uh, we'll even see how the markets respond. But what I'm expecting is some level of just pump fake, whether we gap up and come straight down or we start lower anything, a big move up. Fueled by the news, the market has been jumpy and then popping up and going from there. Now, why do I think that? I'm feeling we're going to get a move tomorrow simply because of the fact the deadline is Friday. I don't know if it's at midnight in the morning or whatever, and someone should put, put that in the comments and look that up. But if the deadline is tomorrow, even for the sake of a, a good deal or seeing how serious they are, they're saying they're sending these people, you would expect something to happen. Now, another sad part it could happen after hours, but tomorrow we're coming into conf uh, confusion. You know, yes, yesterday or today, it, it was all over the place. So watch out for that. You know, I'm, again, I'm not even too confident with this. We've been hitting them. I'm going to say it's lucky. It's good to, I like to journal it. I'm seeing what my plan is with it, but that's what I'm looking for. And if we don't get that, it, it also could be quiet in some level of cuck. So we'll see. But at the end of the day, I need to remind you guys, because I want to go over the plays. We had some awesome plays, but if you're playing the options, get time. Don't trade the weeklies. The premiums are still playing defense, my friends. And what do I mean by that? Even the weeklies coming into Thursday, Friday, and we're going to watch. We'll see how the th how stocks move, but they're still holding up. There's still pressure. Even the VIX is all over the place, but the premiums are not giving up and they're not getting pushed into the wall as good. So you have to be cautious of that, but get time and scale in small. That's what we've been saying, scale in small. And that even brings up a little, you know, the next point I'm going to talk about with what I even did with one of the Intel plays, but make sure you guys are getting time. And then even today we made a play. If you guys, if there's a stock and it's a cheap one, you don't always have to buy the options. It might be better to buy the shares also at the same time. And that's what we did today on that move, which was very funny. We're going to talk about. So please get time. You guys be smart. Because like I'm saying, if the can gets kicked, you have to think in the future and that's what i was even saying monday you know it's about saying hey where are prices going to be you know a few days or a few weeks from now if the can get gets kicked you don't want to waste your money and lose a a decent amount when you could have just got a little bit extra time for not that much more just keep your hand in the game uh you you know again we're going to be there on stream so come and talk about it you're seeing the moves that we're making but 
it's going to be a different type of sensitive. And what I mean by that, it reminds me of my play today because these volatile moves, you got to be careful on the options. But on some of these Junes and Mays I've been playing, Intel was a May and it was shorter term. But I noticed I was really, really quick to sell out of my puts and I reacted quicker and that was a free option, but it was still a bigger position. I feel I got I was up on those 100 something percent. And I had a couple of them, I think two or three, I think it was two, but they were holding their value and I, you know, I, I, it was still a decent amount. So it was still a big amount, even though it was profit. And that's what you guys got to account for. It's still your money, even if you're doing a rollover play, which we talked about yesterday. So at the same time, I think the position was big and I reacted. I wish I I was not as sensitive because it did have till next week. However, you have to watch your contracts too and see how other contracts are responding some spy puts they only go up over big drops so you have to be careful and that's what i'm saying a lot of different options be careful and watch the differences in strike prices between the chain is it a dollar 50 cents five dollars 250 we talked about that even on the phone call so those are the lessons that's the keys for tomorrow let us talk about the plays or actually here's you know again i'm going to tell you guys to watch the uvxy and we're going to see what i'm going to talk about what happened today and then we're going to get into those specific options but today is even going to show you those plays but watch the you want i'm going to use this as the judge and characteristic for hey this is what is going you know if, if a deal is going through or not and again that it could be i'm worried it could do a pump fake but if this thing starts to skyrocket it's already pointing it's going up that's weakening which is not good but it looks like the asian markets are going to be down lower and we kind of reflected the asian market so i'd watch asia and european markets we saw those effects around 8 30 uh in, in the morning when they closed we saw that the last few days but i think the markets and the chinese stocks are going to be very very interesting especially how we react to that so keep your eyes out on those two things again we had the earnings and let's get into some plays and today. So even today, we had a bunch of moves. I'll give you guys a play. We played this, guys. If you remember Workhorse, this was a hilarious play. And yes, I played a penny stock. So a lot of you guys want to, you know, there. I, I did it. I played a penny stock um, and we, we killed it. I'm the best penny stock trader. I use my, you know, my technicals. If you guys want to get my technical book, uh, it's the Stock Trading Boot Camp. It's $5. It's in the description. You'll learn how to get all this. Uh, and hopefully... Yeah, that's sarcasm if you're new, but actually you should check out the boot camp. But at the same time, we played this and we got an amazing fill on it. I got 100 shares at $1.64. If you actually go watch the recap on the main channel, you could see what we said. But I got $1.64. It ripped after hours. But here's the stream alert. I put it on there. I got 100 shares on this count. And then I got another, uh, I got 100 shares here and another 250 shares on on the other account and I got it uh, like slightly before but you could see when we bought it uh, what time does that say here it says we got these ones at 11 25 a.m. so we got it on the account here at 11 25 or excuse me 225 on my other one I got it at 223 a few minutes before like right around here and then we got it out on the stream alert after around like 11 27 a lot was going on on it as you could see there but it still created a pretty decent window and i said it even there i said right there that i want to swing it i said it looks interesting and it was related to the president's tweet and i said i'm going to try to i'm holding likely for the rest of the day and i was looking to cut out when i get my initial investment app and so thankfully i was here and people were asking me was i was just right under there and i said you know what i'm gonna hold it and then i came up i said you know people should take profits because i was just under the point but i knew some people could have made a lot uh, they could have got better fills and they would have had their initial investment back on this so i said hey you, it's already up at 50 percent. you know you could take some profit but i said i'm swinging in tomorrow not selling taking the risk but i said i would take profits and i held and it's paid off and the whole point was the strategy with a hundred shares you know this is like an option and what i was saying instead of you know this didn't have options but a lot of people you guys are making them you know i say i see a lot of people make the mistake trying to chase these you don't have to you know you could only make so much in a day even 300 percent for an option trader it's not that much this was a stock but i treated it like an option I bought 100 shares instead of trying to day trade $10,000 on it to get a few percentage points when it was already up. It was up 90% when we bought it. I bought it with risk. You know, think about it. We buy options all the time, super expensive. Did it with a crappy share. The difference is, uh, you know, it was it's getting pumped by the president, which was awesome. Uh, but, you know, it's went up before and it's a stock. You get to own the shares. So uh, I'm going to look to probably cut out half of, uh, you know, if I could get my initial investment. But if it does open up good, I, I might want to swing it uh, again. You know, I have a pretty decent position. So we're going to see watch on stream for that. But that was going to be a good one to watch. I would. I can't wait to see how this goes. And the news was they got to deal with GM. 
uh, that, that Trump was tweeting about, and he talked about it. So it, it's kind of insane. Then we're going to have Roku and Disney. I got the Roku calls. Uh, those could be good. And watch Roku tomorrow because Roku could actually really kill it. Uh, I said even watch it yesterday if it goes up. But if this is up, regardless of the mar watch for Roku, regardless of what the market does, if Roku does its own thing. And if it does, you might see a really, really c killer continuation, you know, it's both a good earnings and at the same time, where it was I think you know they're they're already giving they're coming back from giving up on that downgrade. If people like it, they're they're killing what the analysts expected. Even now, the hype from Disney and the Netflix that it could do its own thing. So if it has its own digestion, watch that. We have some calls and keep your eyes out for that. And the best thing about Roku, they're very very volatile. So keep your eyes on those. And then next is the UVXY. So this is what I wanted to talk about for today. This one also came up on the stream alert. You could see right here in the morning. And if you want stream, I said watch. But this is the UVXY. The UVXY started dumping. Uh, but the and this it started dumping literally right here before the market really popped and it was weird because it started dumping when the market wasn't really the market was coming down and the UVXY was was dumping as you see you know overlay it right here if you come straight down here it was uh it, it was it was coming down really really fast before we saw that candle and we were noticing that behavior and I even said it on stream again here's the stream alert but again if you got the stream alert if you're on the stream you know it's the same thing I make sure to repeat them both and make you know I'm making these cl statements clear because these are the important things that are happening on stream that's why we're talking about it now so I said around 755 or like right here what 1055 right before maybe I'll have to make this larger so you guys could see it's right there uh, 1055 it said spy holding up VIX dropping keep eye on this could signal the bounce important to see how that develops throughout the day the UVXY just got d is down 40% that's saying something remember the window but keep these on watch as we as we may have a place marker on them don't be jumpy and then what was it right there two more minutes later at the 57 vixen market interacting weird signaling either direction move may be good to straddle here uh, and again, and then literally it popped two minutes later. So that was an interesting move. And that was the first thing. But the next thing we saw today, and this is relating to now what I'm saying with the pump fake, the Sarah Sanders news came out. And then after that, there was a news that China reneged and is coming that China was really going to oppose stuff. And then it dropped. And then it came up and then it wasn't we couldn't find the news anywhere. And then CNBC confirmed it. And then it dropped again. And I put this stream alert uh, clip in earlier and I said, well, you know, pretty much just watch out for the news. You guys, uh, the, everything was getting legs very, very quickly. You have to be cautious of that and watch out because the market is getting very sensitive. That's why I'm expecting that that pop lock and drop it type move. But you be careful when you're seeing this. But this is what happened today. And then it went up and then we had the drop. And now this is related to Iran and it's either it's related to Iran or the Intel news. So now again too, watch Intel. We got I, I got rocked on these. We sold the calls and then came down. Oh my gosh, even after hours. Oh, I don't want to talk about it, man. That's gonna be you know we left out on it. I see you know that was a bad stream alert. That was the worst stream alert I probably put out on there. Uh, I even said you know we got the Intel. I sold out the Intel. I bought calls. I'm down. I'm gonna be down even more. I didn't even sell out of the calls. I didn't even buy back the puts. It, it was we got pump faked. So I think, and that's even kind of what inspired me to see because I think we might see a lot of that stuff stuff tomorrow. But that could have a big effect. So watch Intel. But now, last time we saw Intel, we also saw companies like 3M move and even IBM. So keep your because they're you know think about the types of companies we're talking about. You know and and how. Uh, Intel falls into that category. So watch them. Even watch the fangs. Google made an interesting move, but also the chip makers. NVIDIA, uh, another play I like. I want to push these into the wall. I'm, I, I want XLNX. I want it on a bounce, and it's been crazy. There's that. But actually, let's get to some options, and let's talk about some of the options I want to look at. Right off the bat is going to be Disney. Watch for its earnings and see what it could do. It could be similar to Roku, but now uh, I want to wait. I'm, I want to see for a key drop in IV because now – they beat on earnings. It wasn't as it was really they beat. But again, I think the uh, options were pricing in a really, really big move. So we have to see how the stock reacts to it. And really, it, it did a lot of moving and, and came back down. So if it opens normal, it could just do the earnings move throughout the day. So watch out for that. I like the Disney's. And, and again, the key is going to be watching how those options price in and change throughout the day. So it's, it's just one to watch. Next, we got our good old favorite McDonald's. So I'm watching these. I want to watch the 197s. It's staying in a very, very tight range. So again, the key is try to get these in the money. 
and I want to see how it works. And if I want to see how these value, because depending on what these value, it's going to give me an idea on how to get the next weeks or the Junes, but watch how they move, see where they, they operate. You know, the market's been doing a lot. And if you know, at the end of the day, McDonald's held up, that's a value stock. And it makes sense now too. why the premiums are holding up. These are, you know, we sold these at the beginning of the week. Remember, we got these really, really cheap uh, last week before that. And coming in, you know, we got that's us right there. I sold at like 180. I thought I was happy about it. It went up, it came down, but it's still holding. So that is stuff. Remember, this was the same contract I used to tell you about pricing here. It's still doing the same thing. The fact it's still at this price now with only a few days remaining. And this is what I mean by the contracts are on defense. So watch out for that. But this contract will tell us a lot. And if there is a play, you know, wait. And, and again, we have to wait and snipe on it, but I'm going to keep my eyes on those. I'm going to watch out for the Roku's. Uh, because I have some of those weeklies that, that, that they were graveyards today. We'll see what happens to them. I think I'm really far out, but I got some time on it or even next week. But Roku moves a lot. So even in the morning, watch there and I'll, to I'll show you guys something. I, I wish I don't know if Roku did it. Did it go straight up today? Uh, I don't think so. But you'll notice on some of these plays, if you go the next week, you guys, I'm saying even on a Thursday, even if you buy in the morning, usually you're going to get a worse fill in the morning. However, if you get it on the weekly, you'll get killed. Sometimes these in the morning will be a little low. The stock will make one of these big candles in the morning, and that's it. It's never going to come back. So I'm going to look at Roku. Remember, we got those calls uh, yesterday. So I'm going to keep watching those. Um, but they were down. I'm not really expecting much, but I, I still like Roku overall, and I think that could make a move again. Alongside Disney, we have to see, but especially Roku could do its own thing. Next is Lyft. And Lyft is related now to Beyond, which we're going to talk about. But it's dropping. the. We did the straddle. I lost. I got clobbered on the calls. But the, the June puts are actually starting to come up for me a little bit. I believe it's these ones, the 40s. So hopefully they add more and it drops. But these only went up 25%. So I lost on the straddle. I lost 100% on the calls only to keep my value and make a 25%. So it has to keep going. But again, I have the time, so I don't have to be too sensitive, but I want to see how these value. But I like Lyft, especially on the shorter term, not necessarily the weeklies, but the next weeks, depending on if it really exasperates and picks up. This is an IPO. If it breaks key levels, this is really, really bad. And that's the same. You guys saw the drama that started with Lyft when it first started dropping. This is why for tomorrow, when if, if we see some of the same break, even though, again, I think Beyond Meat's a different story. However, it's still very, very early on and it moved up a lot, it still hasn't made its U-turn like every IPO has to. So it got its options, I think, when it comes down. These are the ones I grabbed. I grabbed the 50s. I got these at 25 cents. We put that out on the stream alert, and I got two of them. I flipped it out at 45 or 50 cents. I got my money back holding one. It's a May 17th, but I want to see. But again, watch with these. Crazy IV, but tomorrow they're going to add more options to the option chain, more, most likely. Uh, and that's what I'm, I, I feel like they have to because even then, I think today or yesterday was the first day of options trading. So very interesting. And that has been a, a interesting safe haven stock for a lot of people. Uh, lastly, we got Roku, Lyft, McDonald's, Disney. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, Caterpillar. So these are ones that I really like. I got some today. Um, I got the May 17th. But what I like is that the stock was going down. Caterpillar and Apple moved again. It got really hit after hours and we'll see. Uh, it, you know, again, watch it even kind of conjunction with Apple, but they have China exposure. So watch them with the deal. But this could be a good straddle. The calls are getting cheap. But even then, why I say that, look, calls and puts are cheap. And why I think a lot of people jumped into these both sides for protection and, and people were scared uh, because it is Caterpillar. But I think those moves are knocking out some of the premium. And that's what we want to go for. And the spy puts, I have place markers on them. I did grab 50 spy puts. Uh, right before the drop there and I wanted to get that at close so we're gonna see tomorrow uh, I'm gonna be excited if we do get if I see start to see my my pump fake I probably will grab puts on the top but you guys just got to make sure you're there you got to stay in the game everybody shout out everybody who's there you guys honestly we're getting those 1200 people in the morning you guys are contributing it's awesome so be there 30 minutes before open keep it respectful get your plays get in the mode you guys and be smart with this be make sure you're paper trading 
learn from this, use the strategies in place and, you know, think about it and do something repeatable. You guys, if you leave money on the table, don't worry. You know, you want to, you know, again, don't focus on, oh, this is my moment. I got to hit this lick and go out. You know, these moments are going to come out. You guys, like I said, you haven't really seen anything yet. There's going to be day after day, especially in this sort of market environment. Uh, you know, it will reward you for staying a long time, you guys. So hopefully you guys are, you know, paying attention. has been paying you dividends. You get in the game. That's why we're focused. I'll try not to ban people in there, you know, but let's just stay focused on that and be smart with it. You guys stay Stay in line. You know, the minute in this type of volatility, the minute you get confident, be careful. So that's why I'm even saying with my predictions or whatever you want to call it, I'm even worried about it. So let's have some fun tomorrow. I love you guys. I'll see you in the morning. Let's go.